Saiyan Super Elite Scatter Vegeta finally in my grasp. Thanks to my good friend, Teddy. So, let's crack this bad boy open, shall we? This is the back of the box. I really love the new art design that they have now for the boxes. Oh, so much more grander than the old style. Even though this one's the, the Tong version, it's basically based on the um, <coughs> official one. Pictures in the back is the same, and uh, so forth and so forth. I'll open this later so we can compare it between the two. Major upgrade, major improvement, so thank god they uh, re-released it, or uh, remade it, or uh, rebooted, or whatever you want to call it. Now, my initial shot when I first heard about it is, he actually comes packaged with his cross arms on! Yeah, that's the first time SH figure arts of the Dragon Ball Z caliber has been packaged in a way. And yes, Grand Vegeta does cross his arms a lot, but oh my goodness. So when you package him, he, you actually have to package him with his cross arms attached. So, it comes with a total of uh, four faces and two heads. Two heads, just like the original. But the faces differ from the original, and once again, I will compare it later on. Soonish comes with... Two scouts. Yes, you heard me. Two scouts. And uh, there's a reason for that. So, uh, yes, the arms are separate here with the fists. So you just have to take the cross arms off and attach the arms. Uh, unlike the old figures, it's not too much of a hassle to take off the cross arms. The tail, just like the original. No blast effects, but that's fine if you have either the original, right? Or the, uh, or the fake one, or whatever. You, the blast effects are included here. So you can just use it with the stand that you also get with them. Uh, yes. So, two blast hands, naturally. You must have those. And two, either Gallant Gun or Final Flash. Well, this stage he did not know the Final Flash. Just a Gallic gun, although he did use a variation of a small power of a Final Flash Namekian saga uh, when he was fighting Raccoon. It was called something else. It was called uh, Final... Uh, I can't think of it on the top of my head, but yeah. Anyway. And it would not be complete if it did not come with the... It's over 9,000! Fist with the scout. So, yes, it comes with the extra head. One is naturally for the scallop. But this one is for base, the base form. Actually fits on Super Vegeta. Yes, fit on the body. So, pretty much the way they packaged it, advertised it, you can't have one without the other. So if you want to base Vegeta in the, in the Android Saga and now, you know, during the Super Series, there you go, the base head. Now, what was odd, the base head fits fine enough, but initially, right, pop the head off, the Scala head fits fine, but initially this hole was a bit smaller than the actual other one. But uh, because it's plastic, thank God it's able to expand and enlarge, right? So now I can pretty much fit it onto the uh, other body or, you know, the, the head quite easily. Just swap it around, just put it back on easily. So it just clicks 
right into place. But initially, it was a struggle and a bloody half to fit it on. Oh my god. But yeah, the downside, I can use the other one, take the scatter off, but you would have that gap here. You would see this gap on the side, and uh, it's not too much of a bigger deal. It can be for some and others. But uh, yes, enough about that. And let's get to the initial figure. I'm reviewing. So I can have this Vegeta here on the side, doing traditional pose. If I can stand him up, that is. I hadn't stand up before. You're now standing. Well, you can't see him, whatever. Uh, right. So, here he is in his full glory. Saiyan Super Elite Scout Vegeta 2.0. Stands quite nicely. Pretty much uses the same body mold as you know Super Vegeta. Can't complain about that. Yeah, it's not loose like the damn official one. The Tong one is fine. The Tong one, freaking in terms of articulation, more reliable than the um, official. Unless you have to like glue pegs on and stuff. But yeah, you, know, you don't pull leg down for this one. You just like expand it forward about that much. Not too high, but um, it just moved this one back to here. And yeah, you can get like a kick on the side because you've got a foot that slides like that. Uh, expand the air like that, and you can get decent kicks. Ha! So the leg naturally bends to about 90 degrees, doesn't bend forward of course naturally, would have a broken leg otherwise. Uh, yeah, so the foot goes down somewhat. You get that toe pivot. Up. Not down. And you've got ankle rocker. So yeah, you can have it side to side. Naturally. Okay, just straighten his leg out. So the armor pads are actually on a hinge this time around. So they can actually move up and down quite freely so you have more range of motion if you want to put the arm higher. You can. So they're on a hinge just like the... Um, the undergarment pads, yeah, shoulder pads, uh, waist pads, tail attached. So yeah, take off the scatter quite easily, and you can see there's a gap on the side. You put the scatter in. Okay, so this is the initial scout he's packaged with. And if you can see it clearly, need the camera to focus. Damn camera. Yeah, it's got like numbers, writings and all that. So, you know, it's detecting power level. That's why this scout is designed the way it is. Compared to the other scala that's also packaged, has nothing on it, so it's just a neutral, just neutral stand scala. And you can still fit it 
and here peg stays quite nicely it's you know translucent plastic well designed well made I don't know if the other ones is clear or not but you can still see the eye so that's fine okay we'll take these arms off pop the other ones on I have not done that at all yet Just got dropped, whatever. <clears throat> Be wary, it can be quite, quite sticky, hard to initially pull off. So you've got the arms, the way they're packaged, you've got R written on the top so you can see which side goes where. This is the right one. Right one goes here. May require a little force to put them on. Make sure it's fully on, not loose, otherwise it will easily come off. <clears throat> Push it as hard as you can. Here's the other one. Oops. Okay, that was pretty much on. Mm. Mm. bit hard but naturally it's like if you put the cross arms on just leave them on for a while and you know package it like that and if you put these arms on just leave these arms on for a while and don't go changing all the time because it can be quite tricky putting them on and off okay No, oh, I still cannot get that bloody ring on. Okay. Should be on. There's no gap. Oh, damn it. No way. Not staying on. <clears throat> Now I just have to fit both of them on. Shoulder arm, shoulder bit can move a bit. Just be wary of that, it can make it tricky. 
Just have to play around with it. Play out, just leave it like this for a while. Not put the cross arms on until later. Even with the Super Vegeta, it can be ha ah, bit tricky to put. Okay, there we go. Now it's on. Yeah. All right, I believe I got it on now. You can tell it was just fully sliding as you press it down. There we go. Okay, articulation, neck goes side to side, head goes somewhat down, head goes somewhat up. You have the bicep swivel, 360 degrees if you desire. The um, bicep curl. So if you lift up the shoulder pad, you can raise it higher. You remove the shoulder. There you go. Okay. Yep, so the shoulder moves also. Pretty much a 360 degrees. And just like Super Vegeta here, you have the, the ab crunch. About this much forward. No gap. Thank God. And, uh, yep. This much about back. A bit of gap in the front, but that's fine. Now, a lot of Bloody reviews, uh, bloody that uh, I heard about is bloody people bitching about damn shading. Who cares about freaking shading as long articulation works the way it's supposed to? Pretty much, you know, flawless. Yeah, it can't be all perfect. Can't be all perfect, right? Nothing is 100%. But yeah, there are lines, you know, detailed on. The way it should. And the faces are superb. The way how Vegeta is actually supposed to look like. Yeah. Um. Leave this guy here as I crack up my Datong one compared to two. I actually have the brown hair on him at the moment. Yeah, I like to mix and match. But, um, yeah, I got the other head. Uh, yeah, initially, see, the official as well, the, the tongue come with the two blast effects stand. Yep, the 9,000 hands. 
but it has the uh, hands for like the big bang of Jesus. Didn't do big bang back then. Anyway, uh, the downside is that the new one doesn't come with the dirty fireworks. And yeah, come with the Gallic gun and the blast, right? The cross arms, but he's not attached with the cross arms. And uh, yes, tail. But this tail, damn, yeah, way too short. Anyway. And this one here, move him a bit here. Yes, the tongue, the tongue one. I have the brown hair on. You can mix and match, but you can see the difference between the two. Even the tongue one, uh, people say it could have more. It has shading and whatever. And you see the lines more. It's like, what the freaking hell ever? As I said. Long the figure does, it's operational the way it's supposed to, and looks great in detail, which it does, then yes, you should let that slide and not let it deter you from getting it. Yeah, so the old one, the old style, did not have an app crunch, shoulder pads, can't lift it up, nope, pretty much, you know, it's on a peg. There's very limited movements you can do with it. Uh, the actual official one, the shoulder pads would easily come off. Everything would literally fall apart. The actual official. And this one, no. This one, you can have problems if you take pull the hand off. The whole peg could come off and then you just have to glue it back into place. And yeah, you can work uh, around it. I mean, you know, it's a much cheaper quality figure and stuff. But, you know, still did its initial job. Um, yes, what else am I supposed to say? So, uh, yes, sculpted, new sculpt, new update for the hair and the face and, uh, that is a major improvement. So you got the tail on the back and, yeah, you can just uh, take it off from the peg easily enough. Attach it. From the butt side, from behind. You get the other tail. Okay, see, see how long this is. Compared to This one here, the official and the tongue one, major difference in length. And once again, I hear people bitching, eh, you could use more shading. And it's like, hey, at least it's a longer tail this time, the way it's supposed to be. My God, you people are never happy. Uh, so I wonder why I'm never happy. Detach it easily enough. There you go, behind. And you can just articulate it the way you desire. There you go. Um, yes. What else? Pretty much gone through articulation. Yeah, the sh shoulder. It's not as um, grandiose. As Super Vegeta, because he's supposed to be in Super Saiyan form, so naturally he has more bulkier muscles. But yeah, even so, they are good. Much better than old ones, are, especially Resurrection F. Uh, I don't have the figure on me like on hand, and yeah, it doesn't. Don't really need to compare it to him, so forth. But, uh, yeah, that, that that figure could have been much better. And, uh, yeah, personally, I hope they do a re-release of it one day. Just for the blue hair, for the sake of, yeah, I can put it on the, to this guy, you know, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, to be honest, 
the um, premium Super Saiyan Vegeta. If it wasn't for the fact that I could put the blue head on him, actually, I have him now. You can see I have the new Super Vegeta head, but it's so loose, you know. You can't really play around with it too much, you know, there's no point. So, the funny thing is initially, this head here, I clicked it kind of into here because the hole was much smaller, but it was still loose. So it's like, no, I'd rather just expand it, you know, so it should fit on this as it should, or this, you know, if I want to. But, that's yeah. a blue head, I have the blue head on me. Just, uh, yeah, you just click it. And here he is. Blue outfit, Super Vegeta Blue, as I like to personally call him. Uh, yeah, so uh, to be honest, because I have these two, the updated ones, you know. This guy's scalp fell off, whatever. Um, I would initially sell this guy. Yeah, and I would like split the profits with Teddy, but because of the fact I can put the blue ahead, and unless they do an update, I keep this guy for, you know, for the time being. Yeah, so, I believe if you desire with this guy, you can take the bottom bits off. Yeah. Because it's on a thing. Mm -hmm. So you can make him look like Namek Saga Vegeta. You know, my personal favorite, you know, besides the Android Saga armor, I like this Namek Saga and then also the Freezer Saga. You know, one day maybe they release a version of that. Yeah, not, not, not too rush. Too many damn figures. I mean, up to, to this point, all I've been collecting are Vegetas. I mean, I first was Vegeto because my friend Teddy got it for my birthday about a couple, few years back. So, yeah, excluding him, but he's still mostly Vegeta anyway. So, he still counts. Um, yeah. So, um... There is a figure I would, um make an exception for and that is if they ever released Caulifla apparently a black one's coming out Goku black unbelievable like already my god so yeah um so but yeah you can make him look like an Amic Saga or well he had a bit of a chunk of the armor missing when he becomes you know the great ape he had these, the bottom pits missing because it was blast away, the Kamehameha and the Gallic gun. Like, boom, it blast them away and blast the bloody armor bits off. Uh, yes, so there's the head. He's got the smirk face. Take it off easily enough. Yeah, so it's a smirk face. I'm gonna probably pose it on your know, Super Vegeta base. I am Super Vegeta pose, you know? I'm gonna do that. So the face, that's a neutral face he comes packaged with. And you also have gritted teeth. You can use that for the 9,000. Depends if you want to have him um, yelling it or just with the gritted teeth. Uh. Yelling face, angry power up over 9,000, 8,000, whatever you prefer. 
So yeah, those total four faces. Um, the, yeah, the, the Tong one also came with a total um, of uh, four faces, I believe, yes. And uh, the difference is, yes, there's a neutral face, there's a yelling face, is uh, the new one doesn't have the uh, sweating face or being punched in the gut or something. You know, it doesn't have that face. Uh, that's fine. You can't mix and match faces, of course, the pegs, uh, the, the shape, the sculpture is just it's different. Um, Okay, we'll put I put the yelling face on. It just pops on up easily, like so. So when you don't have the scatter on, you can just choose to uh, uh, what's it? Leave the face like link the head with the side. You know, peg the hole if you want, but if you're picky, just use the base head with no hole, no gap on the side. So, you know, people can't tell the difference. Uh, check get the changing hands, but yeah, that's something I like to try. Let's see, uh, don't know if we'll fit or not. Dirty fireworks. There's only one for his right hand. So yeah, just take it off. Might fit, might not. Hopefully it does. Oh yes, it fits. And my friend uh uh, Sadara, like little sister, would be happy to know this. Sit. Dirty fireworks! Blow someone up. So yeah, you can add a blast effects with the other one on the side of it. Okay. Take this one off. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put the fist one back on. We'll take off. His other fist, because he wears a scatter on the uh, on the left, per se, on your personal view, it would be like if you're wearing a scatter, it'd be on the left. Go. Cool. Perfect. So it's like, uh, what's it? Napo is like, hey, Vegeta. What does a scholar say about his power level? And Vegeta, of course, it's like, it's over 9,000! Shut it. There we go. Now, oh, is there anything else that I need to go over? And like I said, yet there is one more pose I can show you. We are at 34 minutes, so that's fine. Plenty of time. So we'll take off his yelling face. And we'll put his smirk face on. We'll take off scatter crushing hand. And we will uh, detach this hand here. So this came with Super Vegeta. 
does not with the skull of Vegeta. Look, like I said, they purposely advertise it in a way that they, they make you get both. You know, you can't have the complete set, one without the other. So, yeah. Okay, um, we'll put his undergarments back on, should be easily enough, just click it, Oopa. Okay, yep, that's fine. You can put them on relatively not too much trouble. Same goes as the, the Tong one and uh, the official one. Yeah, so. Just don't go take them off too often. Okay. Okay, click them into place. Okay, tail can just stay as it is. We know it's supposed to have wrapped around. Okay. There we go. Ready, Kakarot. Okay. I believe that's the end of this review. Hope you liked it. You know, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me if you're going to get this figure or not. I highly, of course, recommend that you do get him. Uh, yes. Uh, you can put Super Saiyan head on him. Make him look like a Super Saiyan. I've got the smirk one on. Matter of fact, let's just do it now, just quickly. Pop. Just be wary. The neck, peg, move. Got him on. Not quite. Get him to stand again. Okay, there you go. Super Saiyan! Yeah, there we go. Okay, believe I have gone over everything. Uh, yes, so, hope you enjoyed this review. I definitely give this figure, <laughs> biased or not, you may see, see it as. 10 out of 10. Oh boy. 